As we begin with severe road damage and traffic on the windward side on Kamehameha Highway in Punalu'u. We told you about this at our 9 o'clock news. All that water you see here collapsing part of the road, causing a sinkhole, and a car drove right into it. Christy Tomashiro made her way to the scene, joins us now latest, or live with the latest. Christy, what can you tell us? That's right, Dash. Right now, it is still a very busy scene. The Board of Water Supply re uh, responding to a 30-inch water main break. Now, let me step out of the way just so you can see some of the damage and the crews responding. Uh, now, of course, like you said, severe road damage causing that uh, closure to Kamehameha Highway in both directions here in the Punalu'u area. Motorists are asked to avoid the area if possible. And on our way here, I can tell you traffic still very heavy at this hour. Uh, we saw some people turning around. We saw some people getting out of their cars, wondering what was going on. But you know what? Earlier today, around 7.15, HPD was also dispatched to a call of a woman that drove into the sinkhole in this area. Uh, the vehicle was driven into the sinkhole and the woman was able to get out while the vehicle was still in the sinkhole. EMS says luckily no reports of any injuries. Now again, Kamehameha Highway is closed in the Punalu'u area due to a 30-inch water main break. Uh, the city says the bus service Route 60 will experience major service disruptions until further notice. Uh, Board of Water Supply did tell us a troubleshooter is on scene to gather more information, but no estimated time of when the road will be repaired or when Kamehameha Highway will be reopened. Uh, but we'll follow up with all officials responding to the scene and bring you the latest details as they become available. Reporting live from Punalu'u, Chrissy Tomashiro, K2N2 News, back to you.